Hello folks, so I just rolled out my setup. We're expecting to have clear skies all night tonight, I hope, because I heard that last night and I wound up getting only one hour of good data. So tonight, um, with the moon at over 90%, I'm definitely doing narrow band, and it's gonna be the elephant trunk. It's a project I do every year because I've never really captured it the way I want it, or at least I've never really processed it the way I want it. And I'm not going to go back this time and use old data. I want to start completely fresh. And this time I'm going to make it a 20 plus hour project. And I think the problem from years past is uh, I, I'm going to do it in the Hubble palette. Well, oh, there's bugs. So there's a big bumblebee. I'm not going to start over. But, okay. But anyway, what, what was I? Where was I? This year I want to double up on the oxygen and hopefully I get that blue that I want. I never get that, that blue. And if you're wondering about that uh, EQ6R, it's still in the basement. I, I haven't brought it outside yet, and this sounds weird, but I'm waiting for cloudy skies before I bring it out because I figure, you know what, there's nothing to do for astrophotography when the skies are cloudy, so when I wait for cloudy skies, hey, it'll give me something to do. I'll be more motivated to get it out there. Right now, I'm kind of lazy playing around with this rig, doing solar imaging, doing the planets with my other setup. Ah, I'm just kind of a little bit worn out. So when the clouds come back and things settle down, I'll start working on that EQ6R. So that's all I got for now, folks. I'll see you later. Hey, I am back again. So last week... Um, we were supposed to have a couple of clear skies, and when I say we, I'm talking about me, Doug, Jason, we're all from that southeastern Michigan area, but but they turned out hazy, and we couldn't figure out why, because um, the weather reports were saying, well, it, it should have been clear that night, and what happened is somebody sent me a link later to tell me that, oh, guess what, there's forest fires in Canada, and the smoke is blowing over into Michigan, like, oh, man. So I was watching uh, Trevor from Astro Backyard tonight. I was kind of curious to see if he was going to mention those fires. I know he's from Canada. And he's right off the bat, he started talking about the fires that were um, in Canada. And then later, I'm still watching the video, and hey, there's me. So <laughs> I thought that was funny. He, he gave me a shout-out, so I just wanted to return the favor and uh, give Trevor a shout-out from Astro Backyard. It was really cool. And uh, if you don't know Trevor from Astro Backyard, he has a gazillion subscribers, uh, a lot for astrophotography. So I'm envious of all his subscribers, but it's always nice when uh, someone like that gives you a shout out. So I just want to thank Trevor for, for the shout out. So anyway, I'll see you later. Hey, it's 4.30 in the morning. I just woke up and I thought I'd check on my uh, capturing and uh, it it's looking pretty good. I'm checking out the guiding here at 0.58. Um, the automatic meridian flip already happened while I was asleep, so that's good to see. Um, uh, let's go take a look at some data here. Um, this is oxygen that I'm capturing right now. I've already got around eight hours of oxygen captured so far, so I think I've just finished the night on this filter. Um, I'm half asleep here. Let's see here. Yep. Uh, uh, let's see. I'm using my usual gain 7515 for oxygen. I'm doing four minute exposures. Um, and it says I'm capturing 205 subs, but I had to throw a lot of them away. I was having focuser issues, so. I'll probably finish around eight or nine hours, not not that many. And let's oops. Let's take a look here. Um, yeah, it's hard to see with one sub. Um, the elephant trunk is definitely faint with oxygen. So I hope this turns out okay. Um, uh, I'll see you later, folks.